In this episode of Comp TV, we are going to be breaking down the drumming style of Joy Division's Stephen Morris. Yes, and be sure to like and subscribe for more exposés on drummers that do not get enough recognition. Now let's get right into it by first talking a little bit about his drum setup. His drum set, most famously known in Joy Division, is a Rogers drum set, which he had several different tom-toms and a few different cymbals that were raised above him. And when he would go to do a drum fill, I swear he would play every drum on the drum set. The first track that we're gonna break down is called Digital. It's a simple rhythm, but it works really well with what the bass guitar is doing. And it's just a kick drum on one and three, snare on two and four, where most drummers will play eighth notes on the hi-hat all the way through. He is playing one hi-hat note, on B1, and it sounds like this. So that's a great example of the less is more approach, and the next track we're gonna talk about is one of Joy Division's most popular. It's She's Lost Control. There's a few different versions of it in the Joy Division biopic control, the person who plays Stephen Morris is making the sound, the ch, ch sound, with some type of air spray can. And when they play it live, he's playing it on an electric drum pad. And I don't have an electric drum pad, so I'm going to make that sound on the hi-hat. And the beat goes like this. The third song that we're going to break down for you is the opening track on Unknown Pleasures. It's Disorder. The intro is pretty unique. It's a drum intro and it starts on beat two. And then when he comes in to bring in the band, he has a really cool feel and groove that he plays that just works so well with the bass guitar. This next one is Joy Division's most popular tune. It's Love Will Tear Us Apart. And I swear, prior to Stephen Morris, there weren't a lot of drummers playing 16th notes on the hi-hat all the way through songs. And it really is a big influence to the post-punk slash new wave movement. And I'll just let the song speak for itself. This next one, I swear, it's a workout on your arms to just try to play along to the recordings. It's Transmission. There's an awesome live version of this that you should go check out. And it sounds a little bit something like this. There you have it, Joy Division, Stephen Morris. There's just so much I could say about it, but I let the songs speak for themselves. Joy Division was such a great band. Everyone kind of played something different. The bass was doing something different from the guitar, and the drums really glued things together. 
all underneath and supporting Ian Curtis's real dark baritone vocals. And Joy Division, in my opinion, is one of the most influential bands of all time, influencing acts like Interpol and the drums. And then Stephen Morris, when the band evolved into New Order, was one of the forerunners of programming electronic drum beats for that group. And a lot of people were influenced by what he was doing with electronic drums especially people like Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails. So hats off to Stephen Morris, one of the most influential drummers to myself, one of my favorites. Go check out Joy Division. And again, if you haven't liked and subscribed already, be sure to do so. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.